Hi everyone, I'm Seven Investing founder and CEO Simon Erickson here giving Mike three key takeaways from the MIT Future Compute 2021 conference. This is again an insightful look into the future of some of technology's most interesting things happening. I tend to think of these not only as key takeaways, but also pain points that investors like us should keep in mind as we're starting to see several of these markets changing. So the first of my three key takeaways is that computing itself is shifting from being all about processors to being complete consolidated solutions. What that means is we've seen artificial intelligence become more and more demanding on computing processing power. And this has led to things like NVIDIA and other chip makers pursuing GPUs to handle a lot of those AI workloads. But as the chip makers are becoming more and more diversified and more and more complex, they're starting to offer complete solutions with a basket of different types of processors that are equipped to handle any needs from any specific customer. That might mean CPUs coupled with GPUs, coupled with FPGAs and even other architectures of processors. It's about the entire solution based on what customers are saying they need rather than just discrete processors. My second key takeaway is that the cloud itself is changing in the approach that it might be taking. We've seen a lot of companies kind of build out these large cloud service provider offerings. Amazon, um, Microsoft, and Google are all building more and more leveraged and more and more integrated cloud service solutions. But there's another approach too, which could be more decentralized and could be decoupling the existing software stack that we know today. That could include things like blockchains or smart contracts or other things that are decentralized and completely different protocols than we've gotten used to. So the reason that this might be happening is to try to free a lot of companies that want to do things on their own terms from those proprietary lock-in with existing vendors if they wanted to have a more decentralized and open internet in order to build their software applications. And the third is quantum computing. This is something that's been a pipe dream for so many years, but it's actually becoming a commercial reality now. There actually are quantum computers that are functional and available through the cloud for businesses to solve complex problems upon. There's different types of quantum uh, that are being developed right now, whether that's ion trapping, whether that's quantum annealers, or even some more futuristic quantum computers that are being developed right now. But the idea is that these will be available for companies to be renting out by the minute, perhaps longer than that in the future, to solve sophisticated problems. That can mean big things for drug development or optimization of supply chains for the largest organizations that can afford this. Now, interestingly, the United States is building out a consortium to help in, in, empower uh, the ecosystem for quantum computing within the country. And it's open to working with different countries around the globe uh, that want to be a part of this partnership. Now, interestingly to me is that China is not currently part of that consortium because of its lack of protections for intellectual property. And I think the takeaway for me for investors on that one is that this could be an arms race as everyone's trying to claim their own quantum advantage. So putting the three of those together, AI is becoming more demanding and requiring more complex and integrated solutions. Secondly, the cloud has got some people that think it might need to be more and more decentralized rather than centralized. And three, that we're seeing quantum computing actually becoming a commercial reality faster than a lot of people might have predicted. You can follow even more of my updates at at 7 innovator or at 7 investing where it's our, it's our mission to find the most innovative things that are happening in the world, follow them to find the best stock market opportunities, and empower individuals to invest in their future.